rug inspired cover is simple to make and customizable using single and double crochet stitches. You're going to need two balls of yarn, red and a black. This is size 4 uh, medium, 100% acrylic, and a size 5 millimeter crochet hook, and an optional crochet needle. So we're kind of working on this panel, so we're going to be increasing halfway, then going to be decreasing halfway. And then we're going to turn around and do another panel, and then we're going to be sewing them together. So let's begin. Take your red yarn, wrap it around your two fingers, take this end, tuck it, so it creates a little loop, insert your crochet hook, remove your fingers, and pull. So I make my slip knot, you can make it any way that you're comfortable doing it. So pick up your yarn, and let's chain, let's chain 15. One, two, three, four, so I cast it on 15 and I'm going to add, I'll show you a quick way how to do the turnaround. So hold your finger right in the space right after your crochet hook where it is. Now add four. One, two, three, four. And now do a double crochet into where your finger is or the four chain from the hook. So yarn over, insert your crochet hook. Yarn over, pull through, you should have three on. Yarn over, pull through two, you should have two on. Yarn over, pull through two. That's called a double crochet. Okay, so let's do it again. Yarn over, insert into the next chain space. And you can see it's not this one, it's this one right here. Yarn over, pull through, you should have three on. Yarn over, pull through two, two on. Yarn over, pull through two. So that's a double crochet and you want to keep doing that till the end of the row. Yarn over, insert into the next chain space, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So I've come near the end and you can tell I got one more to do here. And that concludes this row. So now you take this end and you pull so that tightens it. Okay, so that completes row number one. So for row number two, I'm going to turn our work around. Now we're going to chain three. One, two, three. By the way, you're always going to be chaining three when you turn your work around. It's the height of our double crochet. So now what we want to do, we want to start increasing by one per row. To do that, we're going to yarn over, insert our crochet hook into the same space as your chain. If you look at your chain, you'll see that the first little space is being taken up by the chain. We want to put an extra one right in there. So we put a double crochet in there. Okay, and after that, keep doing a double crochet all the way to the end. But this time we're going under the V's. So if you look at the top, you'll see little V's. We want to go under the V's. So keep doing that and I'll show you how to turn around when you get to the end of this row. So I've come to the end of the row. You can see there is my turnaround chain. We have to put in one double crochet right into the chain. And that completes this row. So when you reach the end of the row, you're simply going to turn your work around chain three. So for the next four rows you're going to be doing this. Do one extra one right into the same space as you chain three or the four chain from the hook whichever one you want to call it. And then we do a double crochet into every single V all the way along till we get to the end of the row. And when you get to the end of the row, there's going to be that chain three we did. So you got to do one more double crochet right in there and try always to go over two because that way it doesn't pull. So I did it over two just like that. And that finishes the row. So now turn and repeat. We did a base row, then five rows of increases. Now we do another base row, then five rows of decreases. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five
one, two, three, and we've been going here for increases to do a straight one. We just go here into our first chain, the chain. Now we just carry on. Now we're going to be doing our decrease. To do our decrease, we're going to chain three just like we've been doing. Okay, so. Remember to add a stitch, we would crochet here, fourth stitch from the hook. To crochet normally, we would go here. This is our first stitch. So this would be if we want it even. But we want to decrease, so we want to go to the one right after. But we can't just leave it loose, because if we do, it leaves a big gap. So I'll just show you how to do that. So we're going to yarn over. We're going to go into our first stitch, which is the fifth stitch from the hook. We're going to yarn over and we're going to pull through. We're going to yarn over and we're going to pull through two only, but not finishing the, the, the stitch. So that just picks up the stitch. Now we're going to yarn over and go into our next V. Yarn over, pull through. You should have four on. Yarn over, pull through two. And yarn over and pull through three. And that's how you do a decrease. Okay, so this is how we're going to be starting each row. Now keep doing your double crochet under every V all the way to the end. Then turn around and we're going to be doing five rows of this decrease. Okay, so I'm done and I'm going to finish my work. And to do that, I'm just simply going to cut my yarn. Yarn over and pull through. And we're done with that one panel. Now go ahead and do the other one. So now we're going to take our panel and we're going to join the other one. So we're going to turn that on our side. We're going to take the other panel that you've done and we're going to line them up. So if you look at this, you'll see that there is one little right on there on the end. So I'm going to go through one first just to cast on my black pinch off an eye, put my crochet hook through, and I'm holding the tail end and the yarn with my hand. I'm going to yarn over and I'm going to pull through both, and that ties it on. I'm just going to let the, the black tail here loose here for a minute. Now I'm going to pick up my other panel, and I'm going to insert my crochet hook on the other side, right through that little loop, but remember how we do it never over one, always over two. So there's my two. I'm gonna take my black yarn, I'm gonna pull through both. Okay, and that ties it. Now chain one. Okay, so now we got this all lined up. And the way it works is if you look at this, you will see that each panel has kind of, this is our, our double crochet, and then we have our space here, and then we have our next row space here, and then we have a next row space here. So we're going to put in two stitches in all the spaces that we have. So by connecting one, we put in one stitch, so now we're going to do one more. So we're going to do a single crochet, so just yarn in there and into the same space on the other side and now yarn over, pull through, shift two loops on, yarn over and pull through two. And that takes care of the first one. Now we're going to go into the second space right here. So insert a crochet hook, insert it on the other panel which is right there, yarn over, pull through, two loops, yarn over, pull through two, and always just tighten it. Okay, so now it's easy to insert the second time because it's so even, and do our single crochet. Moving on to the next one, which is right here. You can see them, they're lined up perfectly, so we're just going to go in here, yarn over, pull through, two on, yarn over, pull through, one more time. Okay, so you want to keep doing that till you get to the end. So 
also as I come near the end I see there's still this row here because this belonged to that row and if you count them you should have 12 of the cluster. I have 11, I know there's one more row here. So I'll put it right in that little chain space. So that's um, one and one more for two and that completes this row. Now let's cut the yarn and yarn over and pull through and tighten. Okay, so this side is done. Now we're going to turn this over and you can see this one is a little bit bigger than this side so I'm going to start at the very bottom and work my way to the top. When you get to the top just stop um, and go back to the video because they we're going to be going in circles to do the neck part. So I got my both sides um, done now and um, I didn't finish this one. I kept it attached because now we're going to work on the wrong the top. So we're going to turn it this way and we're kind of going to be working like that. So let's start by chaining two. So one, two. Now we're going to insert back into the space here where we did our little thing. So we're going to go in here and we're going to do a single crochet just like we've been doing. Inserting, yarning through, pulling, two on, yarning over, pulling through, two. Now we're going to go in here. Okay, so it's really hard because there's no V's. So you're going to have to look at your post and there's a stitch above each of the double crochets and that's where you're going to be doing your uh, single crochet. Okay, so in, this is my first post here, insert my crochet hook, yarning over, pulling through, two on, yarning over, pulling through, two. Next one this is my next double crochet post, so right under there. So I'm going to put my single crochet. My next one right here, right above there, so I'm putting my single crochet. So keep doing that till you get to the end of the row and I'll show you how to move on from there. Come to this low end and yes it's a mess but we got to get through all these. So there's my post so I know this is my one stitch here. My next one is actually this black one here so I'm going to go always over two, not one. And just keep tightening it. So I did my black and I know my red one is right there. My next one. There we go. And next one is my post. So keep doing that to the end and then at the end of the row slip stitch to join. Row 2. I started by chaining 2. Now I'm going to reduce by 2. So we'll be doing our single crochet and to reduce right off the bat, if you look at this one, there's our chain two and we don't go in here. We go go to the next one, which is right there. That's our first V and always under the V. So yarn over pulling through. So we'll just latch it on the loop, which is right there. Now we go to our next V. So right there, and I yarn over, pull through, three on, yarn over, pull through all three. And that's how you reduce in a single crochet. So from now on, we're going to be crocheting under every V. However, we are going to stop halfway around to do another reduction. Now that we got halfway through, we're going to do another reduction over this area here. So we're going to insert our crochet hook, yarn over, pull through, but not finish it. Find the next V, yarn over, pull through, our three on, and yarn over, pull through now we'll just again do single crochet under every V all the way around and again if you pull it's really tricky after you do your pull it's kind of pull so this is our first one right there after when you get to the end of the row just slip stitch to join okay and we're moving on to our next row so a chain two For this row, we're going to have to reduce it by four, which means you're going to do a reducing right off the bat. 
reducing a quarter of a way, reducing at the other um, seam, and reducing again here. And then do a reduction when it comes to slip stitch to join, so a total of four. Okay, so for this row, let's chain two. And let's do a reduction right away. So this one's pulling, so my first one is right there. Another one here. Okay, so now I'm gonna just do a single crochet, I think in the next one or two. Now I'm gonna do a reduction, that's a quarter of a way. Do another reduction on this side, do another reduction on this side, and one just before we slip stitch to join. So now we are done. We're just going to do one final row with slip stitching to make it look pretty. So let's start by chaining one. And all you're going to do is you're going to go under every V and slip stitch all the way around. And that just tidies it up. So keep doing that till we get to the end. So I'm going to do my final slip stitch to join. Done my yarn yarn over and pull through and that completes our work my friends okay so let's turn it okay so we turned it inside out as you can see the edges on both sides and just make sure that it's straight and all this loose ends we want them on this side so let's pull them all out so take your black yarn and cut about about two feet strips like that and cut about ten of them or more whichever you want you can always cut more you can put them anywhere you want as long as they're place kind of in uniform order that makes it look good so I'm going to skip this row just because it's too close to this one I'm going to go in this row so in this row I counted mine which are actually 15 so approximately half of that is going to be seven one two three four five six seven and I'm going to put it through this eight thread it and just pull it through I'm going to take that and just put a knot in it but I don't want the knot in the center because I'm going to be using one to weave so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put it off side so it's almost through but this is going to leave a little tail like this and just put one knot in it there that's going to be my first dot so it all depends where you want these things to be so now that we did our center, I'm going to go one down and go one, two from the edge and put one in here. So then we're going to go here, we're going to skip one, two, and we're going to count from the black, which is here, one, two, and put one here, skip two, count from the black, one, two, put two here, and then repeat on the other side. So now we're going to do one just underneath here, and we're going to count five, one, two, three, four, five, and on the sixth and the seventh one, we're going to put in our Okay. and we're gonna skip two one two and in here we're gonna count five again one two three four five and on the sixth and the seven we're gonna put one here and repeat on the other side so in the center you can count them to make sure that it's right in the center so eight so nine ten is my center so now that we have them all marked it's your last chance to look make sure you're good so we never pull tight, it's always loose, we work loose. So we take our longer thread, 
which is the one right here. I'm just gonna now if you don't have a crochet needle, you can use a crochet hook. There is no rule. So I pick it up like that and just feed it through. So that's one. Just feeding it through because we want to kind of line them up this way. You can make them as thick as you want. You can make some bigger. So that would be six. And I'll do one more, seven, to make it extra polka dotty. Once I have my seven in, I simply take that little loose end and the bigger end and I put in a knot. But my knot has to be not hard, so kind of a softer knot. So there. It's one and two and that is now knotted up and of course I can tighten it a bit and now we want to cut it to about this size there so now do that for all of them you've done this side go ahead and do the other side looks like on the inside and we don't worry about uh, weaving these in because it's on the inside nobody cares so likewise these ones here remember the ones we are loose ends they're on the inside nobody cares so just gonna cut them shorter and uh, these ones are outside outside oh and that's it okay so this is on the inside so we're gonna have to weave this in along here and this one along this way and the red ones along there yeah so, so the way to weave in your loose ends is you take your crochet hook and you just pull it through because we want to get it up so we're just gonna take it up and I'm working on the inside only on the very top so this way doesn't go all the way through so like kind of grabbing two and then just weaving them up so it's up higher and we'll go one more up There. Then we can just leave it like that because it's on the inside, who cares? Now go ahead and finish all these ones out and this one will go down. And the black one, just go under that first one and take it up and one more up. There. And turn it right side out. And we're all done.